Welcome back to the National News of Myanmar International. I'm Mazin. According to the National Railway Network project, Myanmar Railways of the Ministry of Rail Transportation is developing 10 new railroad projects across the nation to create better transportation and socio-economic development of the local populace. After completion, the total length of the railroads will be 1,490 miles, and so far, 270 miles have already been opened. In Rakhine State, Prime Minister U Thein Sein and several senior officials attended the opening ceremony of the 22.72-mile Kuantang Pong Na Chong Yote Yok rail section on Saturday. It is the second rail section of 257-mile Minbu Arm Situay Rail Railroad Project, where 51 stations as well as 1,285 large and small bridges will be built. The Prime Minister and party took a ride on a special train and greeted the local passengers and then inspected the newly opened rail section, which will further contribute to better transportation, socio-economic development of the local populace. Along the railroad, the Ministry of Rail Transportation and private companies have also built drinking ponds numbering 18 in Pong Na Chon and 8 in Chow Tho. The present total length of the railroad is 3,433 miles, along with 875 railway stations. Moreover, rail coaches and diesel engines were built and upgraded for the convenience of the people. Prime Minister U Thein Sein held a meeting with officials in Situe of Rakhine State on Friday. He discussed regional developments based on sound economic foundations and decrease of per capita income. He also urged the people to cooperate and participate for the success of the forthcoming elections. The cyclone shelters and special road networks were built as a precaution after cyclone nuggets hit the Ayawadi and Yangon divisions. Rakhine State, being an area surrounded by water, also needs to prepare against any kind of natural disaster. As a result of global warming, the country is encountering water problems. He also discussed the sufficient water distribution, redigging of ponds, and storing, wa storing water for the long-term sufficiency and public health awareness to withstand hot weather. Next, the Prime Minister inspected the water distribution at Tetyokcha Creek Dam the first phase of a 50-acre water tank which can store 130 million gallons of water, the Kandor G Lake, and progress of the town. On Saturday, the Prime Minister attended the opening ceremony of Pong Tao Rail Section and later inspected the progress of Pong Na Chong Yeptei Town Rail Section. After that, he inspected the construction of the three-story main building of Situe University where he urged the faculty members to groom the young students to become outstanding intellectuals and technocrats. Rural Library Foundation was launched in conjunction with Cash Donation Ceremony at the International Business Center in Yangon on Saturday. Speaking on the occasion, Secretary 1 of the SPDC, General Tiha Chura Chin Aung Nye U, said that the head of state's message on the 1st of January 2010, on which e-education system of the country was launched, he said has highlighted the importance of establishing a learning society for sustainability of human resource development throughout the length and breadth of the nation. In the time of the Tapmador government, multimedia classrooms have been opened at schools for modernization of modern e-education system. As a result, Literacy rate has reached 94% and school enrollment rate in primary level has also mounted to 98%. At the same time, as part of the implementation of five rural area development programs, the government hasn't failed to set up rural libraries in the villages with the aim to widen the horizon of knowledge among rural folks. The 70% of the nation's populace. So far, over 50,000 rural libraries have been opened, including over 20,000 well-equipped libraries. In his conclusion, the Secretary 1 called those present 
to join hands for sustainable development of Rural Library Foundation, making it a national commitment. Patron of Rural Library Foundation, Minister for Information, Uchao San, also spoke at the ceremony. It was followed by a cash donation event where well wishes presented over 720 million charts for foundation to the Secretary One and officials. The aim to establish this Rural Library Foundation is to ensure sustainability of the rural libraries, which are part and parcel of creating a learning society of Myanmar. Minister for Agriculture and Irrigation, UKU, received Ambassador of the European Union, Mr. David Lipman, at the Minister's office in Naypyidaw on the 14th of May. They discussed matters relating to the development of the agricultural sector. Due to the rising temperature and the lateness of monsoon this year, some parts of Myanmar are now suffering from the scarcity of water. Township Development Affairs Committees and well wishes of respective regions supply sufficient drinking water to the locals in Magwe, Mandalay, Ayawadi and Yangon divisions and Mong State. Embankments of lakes have also been rebuilt in order to store much more water in the coming monsoon. Now, in collaboration with the people and NGOs, the government is paying special attention to supply sufficient water to the people across the country by all possible means. And that brings to the end the National News of Myanmar International. I'm Martin Siraj. Thank you for watching.